work, 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 work. You see me do me there, 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 there. And some may better work, 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 work. When you walk on line, 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 line. I'm in the cafe, my ta 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 ta. Drive me a dessert. No time to have you lurking. Welcome back to my channel, it's Janelle. Thanks for coming back, and this week I want to show you guys how to do a DIY crop sweater. So basically, this sweater that I'm wearing right now, and that you saw in the beginning, and I basically just showed you my pale white stomach. Which will be thick, because I just bought tickets to Costa Rica. So that's gonna be really fun, so in a few weeks I'm gonna be there, so maybe I'll do some filming down there for you guys as well, because let's just admit, it's gonna be warmer and everything's better in the sun and in the jungle with monkeys so that's going to be freaking awesome i'm really excited for that so make sure you stay tuned for some of those videos that will be coming up but let's just jump right into it i'm going to show you how to do this diy crop sweater for going into springtime as well as you can keep it around for the fall as well as mentioned for this diy there is going to be some sewing sewing required but i swear it is going to be simple so to start, you're going to need an old sweater. I picked mine up just at a local store that was having a huge sale, so that's another option if you don't have one just lying around your house. First, you want to start by cutting off the trim of your sweater as you'll be sewing this back onto the sweater later on to complete the whole look. So make sure when you're cutting this, just cut a little, a tad above the stitching of the trim just so this completely stays in place because if your sweater's like mine and it's knitted, it will start falling apart if you don't cut just above the trim to hold it all in place. Next, you're going to want to measure where you want your sweater to lay. So to do this, you want to try on your sweater and then just using a piece of chalk or a pair of scissors, just make a small mark of your desired length of where you want your crop to be. I did mine just around my belly button because as you were at the trim later on, it will add about another inch or so to the sweater. So just keep this in mind when you're picking out the length of your crop sweater. Once you've made the mark, take your sweater off and turn it inside out. Using a Sharpie or a piece of chalk, create a straight line across the whole sweater as this will make sure that you create a straight line cutting when cutting your sweater to make it a crop sweater. While your sweater is still inside out, bring back that piece of trim that we cut off earlier. Pin the two rough sides together of the bottom of the sweater and the trim. Continue this around the whole sweater and then cut off any excess trim you have, pinning the two loose ends of the trim together. Once pinned, use a sewing machine or you can sew by hand and sew the raw ends together. I prefer doing this part by a sewing machine just because I had one handy compared to using fabric glue or something like that because once again if your sweater is knitted like mine you want something a little more secure like sewing to make sure that it doesn't unravel as you wear it because could you imagine if that happens you start wearing it and your sweater just falls apart on you. That was a DIY for the DIY. That was a DIY for DIY. I wonder how many times you can see DIY in that. Under. So that is a DIY for the crop sweater, and I hope you guys liked it. As always, please let me know in the comments below what you thought of this DIY, and if you're going to try it, which you should, because this is going to be a really cool item for spring. And just make sure you go check out your thrift stores or maybe your closet that you may, might have like a sweater in the back that you can use for this DIY, as that's always a really good idea and cost effective. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this DIY. If you want to see something else in the future, let me know. And as well, if you try this DIY, please let me know on social media and just hashtag it with Nell DIY. And you can also follow me at Nell Creations on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, basically everything. Everything's now Nell Creations. So follow me on there for more DIY inspiration. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to this channel because it makes me very happy. And yeah, make sure you like this video and I'll be big.